He's been busting out that Fox secondary quite a bit lately. All right, here we go. Game one. Uh, Reno versus Siren. Struck to Yoshi's. Kind of an interesting pick. I feel like this would be a counter pick for a lot of Fox players. Uh, I guess uh, Reno's comfortable here, though. Reno's spending a lot of time on platforms now. Nice read on that roll from Siren to get the up smash. Oh, those needles. Ooh, that was really dangerous for Siren. Ooh, and he clips him with the second hit of up air. Barely. Nice, solid lead for Siren right now. Oh, the Phantom Fair. Wow, and that would have been... I think that might have been bad DI, too, because he was dashing away when he got Phantomed by that. Oh, my God. And just like that, Siren with that low shine and the Edgehog to take a really big two-stock lead. Reno taking the full duration of his recovery platform, trying to get his head in the right place. Oh, forward tilt. Nice. Nice little combo. Oh, but he mistimes the down tilt. That's actually really difficult to do, that down tilt on the Firefox. Um, if you're on the uh, the angled side of Yoshi's story and you, you do it, you have to time it like very well because the Firefox comes up and hits you a little earlier because the uh, angle is a little lower. Wow, Siren with a really good stock again. The up throw up air closes it out. Oh, and Reno just looks shaken. He's missing Wavelands. His spacing is not on at all right now. Siren looks on point. Nice. Good back here. Okay. Reno does take a stock. Sometimes it just takes that one stock. And you get a little bit of momentum going, you know. You're just playing off slow to begin with. I like what he's doing, though. Uh, playing defensive now, doing some more needle camping on the side platform. Oh, okay. Gets that runoff back here to grab. Oh, nice patience to get the re-grab, too. It's tech chase time. Oh, but then you, I think that might have been an accidental full hop. Nice. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, no punish on that waveland. The uh, miss waveland. Ooh, again. Siren hunting for these up smashes. Nice. Oh, that near barely didn't stay out long enough to connect. A nice backer though. I think that will do it. Oh, Randall was there. Wow. Siren didn't know. Otherwise, he could have possibly angled to uh, land on it. Oh, okay. Read the roll, but didn't get the grab. Wow. Again, reads the roll. Uh, this time gets a nice up throw back here out of it. Reno's still living, though. Ooh, very dangerous. Finally gets a back air. Oh, and the Edgehog. Oh, Randall. Oh, my gosh. Randall allowing Reno, Reno to grab ledge. Nice smash the eye. Reno's just clinging on. This can be dangerous sometimes for Fox players when they just can't quite close this last stock out. Because you are Fox, especially against the Sheik. You can get games pretty easily. Oh, nice bait on that grab. And the up throw and totally confirms that up smash. He got way inside his hurt box with, hurt box with the second hit of up air. Or, did I say up smash? I meant up air. I have a problem saying up smash instead of up air sometimes. But regardless, uh, Siren with a really solid two stock. Game one versus Reno. Going right back into it. No wait time between the counter picks. And this is what I thought initially they would strike to. I'm surprised that they ended up going to Yoshi's because this I feel like Yoshi's would be the the general counterpick stage for most Fox players against the Sheik. Oh man. Wow, Siren baits out the miss grab and then misses up messes up his dash dance and gets grabbed for it. Siren has done a really good job of using his up smashes as anti airs too. Uh, it's kind of risky to do that because up smashes a lot of lag on the end of the course. Wow, nice double shine. Oh, the Shino Stall connects. Hmm. Both of them just barely getting clipped by one of those moves. But uh, he's he's all those up smash anti-airs he's done have connected, so it's it might be a little risky, but it's worked out for him, and he's taken several stocks. Good double nair. I think Reno might be a little too low. There we go. Siren taking the first stock yet again. Nice back air. Ooh, he, he dropped down for it. Just didn't quite time that fair correctly. All these high illusions. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. He was holding down on that one. Not the best DI from Siren. Possibly could have kept living. Oh, gets the grab. Nice back throw. Oh, man. This time it's Reno who's doing a really good job of baiting out and punishing these grabs. Not punishing too hard, but he's getting straight hits at least. He's wrecking up a slightly better percentage. He has taken the percentage lead now. But a nice spot dodge wave shine up smash from Siren. And just like that. Oh, he went for that shine. That was really risky. Jab battle. We're boxing out here. Ooh, I like that full hop nair. Boxes who are really good at using full hop nair, it's just, it makes it so difficult to deal with. Oh, no. And just like that. Ooh, a really good trade from Reno to get back to ledge. He might have been... No, I don't think so. He, I don't think he was too low after that back here to come back. 
Ooh, nice. Just barely clips him with that, and that did take his double jump since he jumped off ledge, and just like that, the Siren ties it up at two stocks apiece. Reno's been doing these uh, needle camp on the side platforms around Ferris, similar to how we saw Ice do against Flamanita earlier, and uh, Siren's done a really good job of like CCing into like shines and up smash in one case. Might be something that Reno might want to drop or stop doing or like mix up maybe a little bit more because uh, Siren's really picked up on it. Nice up air. Doesn't take the stock, but he's in a solid position right now. Reno does manage to get back down. Oh, the power shield. I feel like Reno's been going for a few too many shield grabs too. Oh, wow. Reno went for that nair, but Siren managed to get the back air out first. Oh, wow. Really good bait. Everybody there thought he was going up onto that platform. And he managed to fall right back down. Still living. Oh, the air dodge will be punished with a stock. Nice. Good back air. Samurai not letting anything get back his edge guarding defense. Get past his edge guarding defense. Good read on that illusion. Siren's been illusioning in like super early a lot, and Reno's starting to pick up on that now. Good back air. Great option coverage. Went down to ledge first. Oh, it's off to the back air. And it continues. Really good DI from Siren this entire time. Oh, and he tried to steal ledge, but Siren took like the perfect angle, just sneaking right above him. Uh, down smash from Reno does take it, though. 34% on him. Siren is up. This could potentially be 2-0 uh, for him if he manages to bring it back on this stock. Oh, nice. There we go. That runoff needle to fair. So good. Nice spacing on the back air, too. Again, the anti-air from Siren with the up smash. He hasn't really gotten punished for that at all. Oh, but the, oh up smash to fair. Not the best DI. Will that be an edge guard? He delays it, but he did have his double jump back. He didn't have to do that illusion. It does work out, though. And just like that, tables are switched. Siren's one on the stage. Oh, really unsafe down smash, though. Came out very late with it. It was a good option, just very late. And all the same, Siren with the Sakurai combo. The up B to up air. Firefox to up air. Illusion to up air. And he takes it 2-0. Man, Reno had the, his opportunities on that last, the last stock of that last game, but he just wasn't quite able to finish it.